Who is Carolyn? <laughs> Carolyn is very kind and generous. Thoughtful and bubbly. She never fails to have a smile on her face. Carolyn's my fiance and soon to be wife, but hopefully if you're watching this, you already knew that. Carolyn is one of the friendliest, funniest, passionate, and most self-driven people that I know, and I'm happy to be her twin sister. Carolyn's one of my best friends who I know I can always depend on for a good talk and to enjoy a nice white cloth. Cheers! Carolyn is a smart, inquisitive, caring woman, lover of all things murder, and willing to try her hand at anything. <laughs> Feeding chipmunks, filling in ceiling holes, growing beans, or quilting. She is a kind, caring girl, but a girl who loves her buffalo chicken and murder documentaries. Carolyn is that cute little girl who showed up on our doorstep. We loved her. David saw the sun run out of her. Really sweet. I don't know what happened to her. Not quite the same. Allison here. I got the babe. Carolyn is the friendly one. She is kind, she is generous, and she's fiercely loyal to those she loves. When I first met her in university, I hadn't really clicked with anyone else on my floor. And I remember thinking, thank God for Carolyn. <laughs> okay, I have to sit real still. Put on a sand dress. Carolyn is my beautiful and kind youngest daughter. Kristen Bell, uh, because they're both nice and sweet, but also have a really funny kooky side. <laughs> and these are my teeth. <laughs> and this is my eye. And this is my hat. I would say like Reese Witherspoon. She's very sweet, like Reese, so definitely a good comparison. Carolyn has a girl next door vibe, so Kate Hudson. I've always found that Carolyn's can, when she talks, her voice can rise and fall. It's an Hannigan character from the movie American Pie, because there was this one time at band camp. Jennifer Lawrence. Carolyn reminds me of Michelle Williams. They both have blonde hair. They both have uh, similar features kind of comes across as someone who's sweet and kind. Minnie Mouse. The tiny little waist and the long legs and the pretty face. Nancy Drew, because she has a beautiful smile, great friends, and a strong interest in crime. Look at me, it's very funny. Something funny that Carolyn always says that makes me laugh is her obsession with murder shows. Whenever Chris leaves for the weekend, I always reach out thinking she'd be bored, but nope, she's living her best life finishing one murder doc after another. I asked Carolyn one day, had I shown her these photographs that I'd taken of the heron? taking off and she said yes i asked her to demonstrate it was the funniest thing but the moves were perfect ask her to demonstrate a funny story that happened between both and both of us we traveled to australia about 11 years ago and we decided to stay in this mystery hostel in, in darwin northern territory and we got there and there was a girl checking out we're like no it couldn't be that bad boy were we wrong it was the most disgusting hostel we've ever stayed at it was so gross but i couldn't imagine having that experience without carolyn it was she made it so much easier to get through and it was just one for the books <laughs> what was something ignore the dog <laughs>
One Christmas, Carolyn, Heather, and I were sitting on their stairs trying to take a picture, but Carolyn would not stop laughing for some reason, so we all started bursting out laughing, and it was really funny. One of my favorite memories with Carolyn was in grade six when we had a big fight at recess. The fight continued beyond recess, and as kids normally did in the 90s, it continued via notes being thrown back and forth angrily. There's mine! Throughout the class, whenever the teacher was turned towards the chalkboard. Everyone in the class became so involved in our fight that they, I just remember heads going back and forth every time the notes would be flying across the room. I'm happy to say by the end of the class, although we didn't learn anything, we did forgive each other and moved on. Carolyn was always super curious and interested about everything around us. Every Friday night, when the kids were young, we would rent a movie and we rented Jurassic Park. So at one point, Carolyn raced behind a chair because she was terrified. But I looked over and her eyes never left the screen and that's Carolyn completely. She might have been scared, but she wasn't going to miss anything. Carolyn and I have spent most of our friendship laughing. Her mannerism, my favorite person to gossip with. It's the look when you tell her something where her eyes go wide and her mouth is opened and a shocked face and she just looks at you in disbelief. That expression just makes me smile even when thinking about it. Uh, we've been seeing some coyotes and, some, and a fox in our neighborhood lately. And about a month ago, we were out for a walk at night. And she started freaking out because there was a coyote up ahead right on Miller's Grove. We went to investigate and it was a little cat. And not just any little cat, but it was probably the smallest cat in the neighborhood. Run. Never seen her running, so I don't know how well she'll do. My advice is to take a deep breath and try and take in those mental pictures at certain moments when you're about to walk down the aisle. Just try and breathe in through those moments to help remember them. Also, know that everyone here, uh, whether physically or virtually, loves you and supports you. Mm -hmm. And Chris, you are a very lucky guy. So I wish you both so many years of happiness and laughter and love to you all. Laugh, laugh a lot. And when sometimes that isn't working, please remember this. Have a wonderful wedding and a wonderful, wonderful marriage life. to Carolyn. Yes. Relax and enjoy the moment. Life has been so stressful for the last year and a half. It's best to just let it go, enjoy. You deserve it. Cheers. Through all the ups and downs of marriage, um, I think Carolyn and Chris should both remember what it was that attracted them to each other at the very beginning, because I'm sure it all, will always be there. We're going to make it worth every memory and the people that you care about the most will be there and it's gonna be the best day ever. Enjoy every moment. We love you and I can't wait to celebrate. My advice for Carolyn and Chris is to not sweat the petty things and to always be each other's biggest fan and number one advocate. Congratulations to you and Chris. We're so happy for you guys. Enjoy every moment. You guys are a perfect match. And make sure to adopt a dog and some hamsters. Carol and I have a great life together. You've made a really good choice. For our wedding day, um, just relax, have fun. It's going to be a really good day and nothing can change that. <laughs>